Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, April 18, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, earnings are on and they are in full gear. So get ready. We've got lots and lots of stocks to talk about today. Right now we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by five points to 29.05 and a quarter per contract. So all in all, you can see futures have been steadily rising really since four o'clock in the morning. So again, futures holding up very, very well this morning. And we got a nice little five point pop. We'll see how it plays out by the end of the day. We have two big IPOs today. I believe we're going to have Pinterest and Zoom. They're going to debut a little bit later. We'll see how those IPOs go. Maybe they learned a lesson from the Lyft IPO, which was just about a week ago. Uh, and again, we'll see how that plays out. Generally, markets will hold up into big, important IPOs. So we'll see if that is the case today. In the meantime, we have lots of stocks in the news. Let's get started here. Las Vegas Sands up first. Stock right now is trading at $69.55, closed at $67.91. I don't think there's a whole lot of upside, but I hope there is because I have a nice level to scalp. So again, I'll post that level up in the intraday stock chat room. Scalp room, uh, the chat room has been on fire. So again, if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. It's simply been on fire. We got earnings galore out here, lots of trades, lots of things in motion. All right, so LVS in play today. Again, I don't think it goes much past the 70 level, but if it does, we have a level to trade it. So get ready. That could be in play this morning. Next up, we want to take a look at TEAM, which is Atlant uh, Atlassian. Uh, this stock is getting hammered this morning, trading at 101.49, closed at 111.19. So when I look at this name, it's a little tough to get a, a good level for it because it's kind of a new issue. Stock's only a little over two years old, um, but it's been a major winner in 2019, even a major winner in 2018. But right now, um, we'll be watching this one this morning. We'll see if it does come into any major support levels, if it does come a little bit lower. But uh, TEAM is on our radar. Uh, anytime you look at this stock, you also want to look at companies like NOW. Uh, that could down, be down a little bit in sympathy. Uh, Zendesk is another one. Anything in that cloud software name in, in that cloud software space could be under some pressure. So again, we'll keep an eye on a bunch of these uh, going forward as well. Let's take a look at Alcoa. Ticker symbol is letter AA. Uh, stock right now trading at twenty-six dollars and ninety-eight cents. Closed yesterday at twenty-seven seventy-two. I, I don't love Alcoa here. Um, I don't think there's much to do one way or the other. Stock's not doing a whole lot, but we'll keep it on the radar. We'll see what it does once the opening bell rings. Let's go over to American Express, AXP. Stock is trading at $10.75. Closed at $11.75 last night. So a little bit of down ticking. This gets down to 107. I like that level there, so keep that on the radar today. Right around the 107 level. I'll refine it and have a better level to go in the chat room, but right in that general vicinity, I think is fine. Next up, want to take a look at JB Hunt, JBHT. Stock right now is trading at $95.28, closed at $98.50, so it's a good little haircut here. I don't see anything all that great for the stock right now. I do think it could trade below $95 today, so be a little bit careful. There's probably some support down there around the $94.50 area, but I have to really, really look at this one when it gets there. This is not a stock I could do in the pre-market. Next up, I want to take a look at BX, which is Blackstone. Uh, looks like uh, they are going to convert to a corporation from a publicly traded partnership. So if you ever traded Blackstone, which I have plenty of times, you always get those letters in the mail that you know, you're know you a partner in the company and all of that. So now they're going to convert to a corporation. So stock is getting a nice little pop off of that. We'll see where it goes. I think it's already a little bit overbought up here around the 39 level. I don't see it going much higher from where it is. So let's see how it plays out. But again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, I'd kind of leave it alone at this stage of the game. Let's take a look at Checkpoint. CHKP is a ticker symbol here. Stock right now trading at 122.70, closed at 129.57. I already got gap levels ready to go on this. That'll be posted up in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 a.m. Let's go to the sleep number, SNBR. This has been a high flyer. Guess what? The air has come out of the mattress. So this stock right now is trading at uh, $41.28. Uh, that's down from $48.03. Ouch, that's a pretty good sell-off. Again, I don't have a level yet, 
but I'll have gap levels ready to go. I already see a few that I could get interested in, so I'll have those levels ready to go right at 9 a.m. Next up, we want to take a look at Travelers. TRV is the ticker symbol. Big insurer right now trading at 137.14. This closed at 135.87, so good little pop there. Nothing I would do with it one way or the other. Let's take a look at E-Trade Financial. ETFC is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at 51.02, closed at 49.97. So again, uh, E-Trade kind of you know in the flattish type range, up a little bit from the close. Nothing spectacular. Uh, we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. Trend is up, so maybe there's a little upside. I just don't see a whole lot at the moment. Next up, want to take a look at Taiwan Semiconductor, TSM. Taiwan Semiconductor trading at $44 a share. Closed yesterday at $44.39. I think this is already overbought, but semis have been hot. This is um, a wafer maker as well, so we'll see how it plays out, but I will be watching this a little bit later. Let's take a look at Snap-on Tools. SNA is a ticker symbol here. No volume behind the move, but it is trading at 165. So we'll have to look at that one once the opening bell rings. We'll do one more. Unilever, UL, nice pop there. Trading at $58.85. Closed at $57.44. I think this is a little bit overbought. A lot of resistance coming into play at 60 bucks. So again, leave it at that. Cannabis stocks are higher on the back of CGC, uh, potentially taking over acreage. I don't know acreage, but I do know CGC. Stock right now trading at 45.72, closed at 42.83. So good little uptick there, um, and we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. We'll see what it gives us. All right, let's switch gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is trading down just 60 cents, $1,276.20 an ounce. So if you take a look at the GLD, that's been beat up pretty good lately. That's trading at 120.32. Next up, we have crude oil up 21 cents to 64.08 a barrel. Take a look at the USO, which is good ETF to track the movement in crude. That's trading at 13.33. So there you have it. And once again, if you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right alongside of us. With that being said here, everybody, I'm going to leave it short and sweet. I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful trading day. And we'll see you a little bit later on the charts.